Hi, my name's Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the doctor preppers for prepping data, which is where we're going to get the data for this video. So we're talking about using incremental refreshes rather than full refreshes. So an incremental refresh is basically just adding on the new rows that come through um, with our data and sort of not touching the rows that are already existing in the data set, whereas a full refresh will always overwrite the table entirely. Um, so naturally you can imagine that incremental refreshes are much quicker. If you've got a large data set, you're not having to rewrite the whole data set, you're just having to process the new rows. So therefore that can be an advantage if you know that your data is definitely not going to change um, in the sort of past, if we're talking about um, using a date field for the incremental refresh. Um, but obviously you kind of probably, if you're going to use an incremental refresh, you probably want a full refresh to happen um, at some regularity as well, just to double check that everything is as up to date as it possibly can be. So let's take a look at the challenge that we're going to be looking at. It is um, from Prepping Data 2020 week eight, and it's bringing in a few weeks sales data. So um, let's take a look at the little workflow that we've got in Tableau Prep so far. So we're using a wildcard union to bring in all of these different weeks together. We're doing a little bit of cleaning up. And then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to output this. So we're outputting and you'll notice um, in the right options down here, once I've kind of chosen where to save my file, I'll just save it in my downloads for now. That's fine. Then you'll notice that we have the option of either a full refresh or once we go into our um, input step again, then you'll notice in the settings we have enable incremental refresh. And if we click that, then we'll have to configure it so it's got an alert for now. But now when we go back into the output data step, then we will have um, the option to do an incremental refresh as well. So you can see how we've got both of those options here. So let's set up our incremental refresh. We're going to do it based on the date field because as new week's data has come in, you're never going to have an overlapping date with a previous week because that's just how kind of that would work. Um, and in our output step, we've only got one. Obviously you can have multiple output steps in a workflow. So this is just the one that we haven't renamed by default. And then we would have our output field being the date as well just because it would say, hey, look at the dates in the output. If we already have them, you know, don't process these, um, only process the ones that aren't in the output already. So the new rows, basically. So we, our incremental refresh is set to append table. Um, and, you know, you're always safe selecting a pen to table because um, it will create the table if the table doesn't already exist. So that's good to know. And you can switch which one you're previewing uh, based on, at the moment it's saying previewing above the full refresh, but we can preview the output here on our incremental refresh. And you can see that um, th it kind of does it more on like the field name and type um, and the table doesn't exist yet. So um, you now notice also with our output step, we have a little drop down next to the run flow button where we can do either a full refresh or we can do the incremental. And that gives a much better, more concise description of how I was explaining the full refresh and the incremental refresh um, at the start of the video. So full refresh, all rows will be processed. Incremental, only new rows will be processed. So we will do the incremental refresh. We know that um, it's just creating the entire table. So we can see that here now. We can see how the fields have gone into those fields. And now let's just uh, edit our incoming data source to include a week eight. So I'll just save this over um, the data source that we're using. Um, I'll just find where it is. It's stored in my downloads at the moment as the file name weeks. We'll just replace that. Go back into Tableau Prep and hit the refresh button. And now you can see that we've now got week eight appeared down here in our uh, connections tab. So now when we run this again as an incremental refresh, um, 
then it will only run those for the 14. If <laughs> it flashes by so fast, but there are only 14 more rows being added to that data set rather than it doing um, a whole big refresh because there are more than 14 rows in this data set. If I just go to show you, yep, there are 108 in total. So that's basically how you set up your incremental refresh, how it's working. And I hope that that all made sense to you. Carl's written a great blog on this. Um, I found it helped me to read through it again, uh, just to get it all straight in my head because it's a little bit of a new concept for Tableau Prep. Um, so hopefully that will be useful to you as well. It's linked in the description. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do check out our previous video, which is all about publishing to Tableau Server. Subscribe to the channel and stick around for our next video, which is all about writing to databases.